So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and here you have to just open the console incognito window now here is the updated solution guide for it and many of you are facing issues in this lab do not worry we'll cover this lab and if you are completely new to this channel I recommend do like the video and subscribe the channel now here wait for the lab to open now just simply open the console incognito window now uh, here it's getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction now here if you get this kind of pop-up simply click on i agree and click on agree and continue and then simply what you need to do you need to uh, just activate the cloud shell yes you heard it right you need to just activate the cloud shell like this and after activation of the cloud shell simply click on continue and authorize yourself just click on continue and authorize yourself just click on the authorize button now in the description box of this video i've shared one github repository will be using that and please follow the video carefully because if you blindly follow the github repository you won't get full score sometimes you get 80 out of 100 sometimes you get 60 out of 100 so follow along with me now here we have to enter custom metric copy the metric from here and paste over here hit enter now the alert threshold value paste it hit enter now wait for these commands to execute after that we will simply just execute the next steps which may be manual too so apart from this many of you are asking about the skill badges and lab free courses where you can find it is present in the description box of this video hurry up and check it out So finally here you can see all these tasks are successfully completed. Now we have to move to the lab instruction and check the score for all the tasks. And if you are unable to see the score, just directly navigate to that particular task. Also try refreshing the browser window and you will be able to see the score. So let me show you how we have to do it. So here you can see we have got 60 out of 100. Now I will try to check the score for other task also and let's see what kind of error we are getting. So here you can see we are getting that custom video input length metric is not detected. So we have to create the metric manually and for the dashboard we have to already as I said earlier some tasks we have to do manually. So for the dashboard we will be creating it manually only but here the metric is not detected. If you are getting 80 out of 100 you can come to the upcoming part and just complete the last task. And if you have not got basically 80 you are getting 60 out of 100 then just follow as I am doing in the video. Now simply come to the basically the shell page and here from here you have to just type up time just type up time and from here just click on the uptime checks and wait for the page to fully load now you can minimize the cloud shell also and cross verify if you have got any error over here okay do join the telegram channel and you can just send me the error if you are getting any error also or you can comment down in the video also now here let's come to the task what it is saying let's try to understand it so here basically it is saying do we have to just check the video queue length custom metric has been created or not and as you can see it is not getting detected as it is not showing created only now click on create uptime check and from here 
we have to just see multiple options are available over here but we have to select http and change it to instance only now select the instance to this click on continue click on continue again and for the title for the title you can just write this name which is mentioned over here okay video input length queue it might be showing different name in your case so what i will recommend click on the check my progress for task number two if you're not getting it will show like this only then you have to just carefully select the metric name paste over here and simply click on create now wait for it to get created and finally it's done now let's check the score and if you follow the way i've done you'll get full score without any issue let me show you how you are getting so we got the score now we have 80 out of 100 now last task is very easy you have to just add dashboard so here you can see this dashboard we have to add so these two dashboard we have to add now we have to come to again the console page and open monitoring section in the search box simply type monitoring or you can just type dashboards also okay you can just go to the mon monitoring and then click on dashboard or like this also now here if the media dashboard is not being shown over here you can just click on create dashboard and just you can see here click on add widget and simply add it okay now here i am showing off media dashboard okay i am just showing this sample example over here in case you are getting error i am showing how you can fix it i will be using media dashboard because i am having media dashboard already okay from here you have to follow the next part how to add the chart all these things now i already have the media dashboard so i will just show that method only and let's come back to the basically dashboard page so if you have any queries you can comment down now here just come to the back now from here just scroll down and here you can see media dashboard is here click on it now here media dashboard you have to just click on add widget and we have to select what type of detector sorry what kind of detection it will be pie chart click on the pie chart From here, sometimes what happens, it be it is being shown on active instance also and sometimes inactive instance. If you are unable to find that, in that case, you have to just turn off the active toggle and just search it. Now here, basically, we have to open VM instance and we have to just add a video rate. Okay. So from here, just you can type in the filter also video. And it is not showing as I said earlier. Just click on this active toggle. And then you have to just click on vm instance click again here we have to use log based metrics but if you want to view like in this you can view all the metrics so let's come to main point click on this apply and simply click on apply option over here so just click on the apply option on the top simply click on the apply now add widget again we have to simply use the pie chart also if you want to just check the which kind of chart we have to add you can just check the score for last task and here you can see copy the name over here from metric okay just copy it and from here simply come to the pie chart select metric paste over here and if it is not visible just click on this active toggle vm instance custom matrix our popular matrix here you can see multiple things are over here so here we have to use custom matrix only now just select the open senses apply and just click on apply option now once it is applied you can come back again to the lab instruction and check the score without any issue and if you face any issue you can let me in the comment section do like the video and subscribe the channel guys other places when you love free courses skill badges all things are present in the channel you can navigate the playlist check the master sheet and do join our telegram channel